Next one, who has better fashion? Yes, honey. Ooh, okay, today. Fashion, we honey. Are twin today. Work. Cover girl. Do your thing. On the runway, Wait, work. Turn to the left. <laughs> who has it? Who has Vogue. Better? Who has better fashion? Who has the better fashions? Okay. Thank you so much. I'd just like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank all of the designers who outfitted me today. HQ. Uh, who has, who's the bigger sneakerhead? Oh, that's me, fam. Nah. That's no totally way. me. No way, show. Yeah. What are those? <laughs> show yours, show yours. Look at these. No, don't take them off. Oh. I had to so that people could see these. Who's the bigger sneakerhead? Wow. Oh, and it's, the answer. It's blue double D double da. Is. Matt, wow, I got- By a landslide! 13%, that was like a savage choice. There. People like your dresses, but they hate your shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we only have a couple of seconds. Yeah. Oh look! Oh no! It's happening! Oh, here we go. Should we change? <laughs> Wait, I don't think we have enough time. It's seven seconds. Nope. I'm taking my hood down. This game's gonna rock. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> In the chat, so this is HQ after lunch. <laughs> That's so good. I like that. Unless you eat late lunch later, it's like a dunch. I'm trying to make that a thing. Ooh, Anybody want to go to dunch with me? I mean, this is HQ after lunch, according to someone. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You want to do the first one? Sure. Should we do it? Let us begin. <laughs> Question number one. In exercise, what is one of the words that make up the acronym HIT? Inimaginable, interval, or incredible tude? <laughs> incredible tude. That sounds like a movie I'm gonna watch. I, it sounds like a movie you're in <laughs> on the Disney Channel. My name's Anna, and I'm the star of Incredible Tude. I'm Incredible Tude. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so two of these aren't even words. That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Insanity is a popular workout program and it includes high intensity interval training, which is what the acronym stands for. Hit baby baby. Hit. 57,926. Got it. Ooh. You Let's hit go. the right answer. Hello. Oh, hello. Give me some. Pun, pun, baby. She does words and she's here with the puns. That's right. It makes me want to say hit it. <laughs> Save it. Two eyes. Yep. Heat. 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 Hey. Extra lives, you gotta get those you if you wanna those? win stuff. Yeah, of course, everyone needs an extra life. If you wanna be my quizzer, you gotta get with my lives. Extra lives forever. One thousand dollar prize. Ooh, that was that Come was. Come on tight. now, We're on you thought fire. I was sleepy. I thought I was sleepy. I thought, I'm waking you know, up. This isn't two a.m. This is two p.m. Hello, hello. I'm waking up. Okay, ready? I'm well, taking, I sound like Tracy Morgan. I'm taking Q2. I'm waking up. Which of these animals has a bill? Hmm. Is it a duck, a gooey duck, or a bear? What's it gonna be? Gooey duck. You know that doesn't look the way it's spelled. No, it's spelled geo duck. I'm here to I'm here to correct all the words. I don't like how it's spelled, but uh, let me just tell you, ducks hey, or bears. We start with bears. Wait, what <laughs> is know, it? You know a bear, right? Oh! Oh! It's the HQ mascot, Reggie! Man, I have never loved a bear that much in my life, man. <laughs> Being from Queens and never having met a bear, Reggie's my favorite. <gasps> Could you imagine finding Reggie out in the woods? That would be... Hell no. No. <laughs> I'm then, out. They you tell mean... you play dead, right? You're supposed to lay down? Yeah, just put your hood on and just pretend you're asleep. Yeah. You're good at that. <laughs> I'm really good at falling asleep places, but not when there's a bear involved. All right, ducks have bills for days, but don't confuse the gooey duck for a real duck. They are very different. Very different. Oh, you got it, right? Dollar, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. 60,315 players got duck, because it's got a bill. Facts. A dollar bill. <laughs> A duck a bill. A duck a bill. Not a gooey duck. No, ew. Cooties. No, those are like snails, right? They're very weird shaped. Yeah. They look like wieners in a shell. Mm. Oh, this next one is totally. This is a great question for you. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, another question about fashion. <laughs> Here we, which of these is a common style of women's dress? Frock, poplar, or dollop? Do, do, a dollop. Do you know that? Uh, was it sour, sour cream? Sour cream, yeah. It has nothing to do with women's fashions. Unless you want to wear it. Oh. 
<laughs> no. I don't even want to talk That'll about just it. Melt within seconds. That's if you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much more variety to women's clothing than men. I mean, seriously, we got what? Pants? <laughs> right? Hoodies? Yeah. That's it, just pants and hoodies. Lame. <laughs> uh, but women, they can wear so many things. Oh, I know. Like it's... a pinafore. I learned what that was a half hour ago. Sure. An A line or the good old frock. Frock. Do you even know what a frock is? Yes, after this show, I'm going to get frocked up. <laughs> How many frocking people got it? <laughs> 54,000. 54,414 mother frockers got it. Yes. Woo, frock yeah. Frock, frock yeah, frock. baby. <laughs> a frock is kind of like a potato sack, but it's fashion. Fashion. Ooh, another animal one. Are you ready for this? Yes. Q4. Which of these animals is technically a rodent? Is it a mole, a rabbit, a prairie dog? Takashi 69. <laughs> Is it a prairie dog? <laughs> That's a funny one. I know a different meaning for that. For all of their digging, moles don't get to hang with the real rodents, prairie dogs. Pew, pew. Hello. Let's go. Also, you don't get to be a rodent and a lagomorph. Rabbits were mistakenly called rodents over 100 years ago, but no more. No, no more. No mas. Baby, I'm gonna do right. Ooh, this is 26,219 got it right. 24,504 thought it was a mole. Well, it was almost savage. Oh, almost. It was a, it was a border savage. That's just my a, song. Just a mole border hair savage away. Song. Sorry, you almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, here we go for the children. Woo! Yeah, that are all in school right now. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 question five. I was going to harmonize. Oh, the children. I'm not good at that right now. You know who now. was good at that song? Eugene. Eugene, Eugene was so good it. at that song. I miss him already. He's on a plane. Oh, okay. Here we go. Some more about fashion. This isn't. <laughs> Where did the skincare trend of sheet masks originate? Sweden, Brazil, or Korea? <laughs> hmm? Where did it happen? I don't know, but I do love a sheet mask, so do you I'm even, curious. Do you even mask, bro? Do you even mask? <laughs> look at what? Do, we're just... Do you... E there we go. Now we look like we yep. could end this screen, yeah. All we right. We already had lunch, you know? It's, it's I'm so sorry if my breath smells like Lebanese food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that garlic paste, y'all? Do you sheet mask? You do. You said I do. You do. Yeah. No, I've regular masked. I commend a boy who can sheet mask. But... Uh, they originated in South Korea. Oh. Yeah, that was the hub of cutting edge skincare Everyone fashion products. 33,368 of you got it right. Tell me where the weirdest place you've ever put on a mask was. I did it on a plane one time. Plane, train, restaurant. Automobile. Just on the street earlier today, I came here in a sheet mask. <laughs> Take it away, Anna Rosemary. All right, what Italian food has a name that means trouser leg? Hmm. Capellini, calzone, or fettuccine? What's it gonna be? Now I'm hungry. I'm yeah. hungry again. <laughs> I could eat again. Right? I could always eat I again. I could eat an Italian meal any time of day. What is it, 212? I could do it right now. Culatello refers to a little donkey, but this food actually looks like a tiny pant leg, but instead of a leg, it's filled with cheese, sauce, meat, pretty much whatever else you want. I'm talking about, say it with me, calzone. calzone. My sister. Who's in the zone? 15,000 oh! Savage! Oh no! Here we go. Are we doing it together? Savage, Savage question zone! Oh. Sorry you got it wrong! Savage question zone! There's a Savage question zone! Yeah! I went up because you went down, like, you know? Yeah. yeah, we did musicals. <laughs> Alright! It was a calzone, 15,971 oh. of you. I'm surprised, but it's calzone means trouser leg. That's hilarious. I'm gonna walk into a pizza place and be I like, I put my pants on one calzone at a time. One trouser leg, please. <laughs> They're gonna be like, get the hell out of our restaurant. And then I'll show them that, <laughs> that trivia question. And they'll be like, she's right, okay. Here's another one about fashion. Mm. Question seven. <laughs> Someone set him up. <laughs> yeah, Alexander McQueen was thought to be the originator of what fashion trend? Oversized sunglasses, low rise denim, or cargo pants? Ooh, tough one. Yeah. Good one. I love all of these things to wear I do too. at the same time. Except I, there's one I don't love. Cargo pants? Mm -mm. Well, 
I love an oversized sunglass. I mean, I should have one on right now. Alexander McQueen wasn't one to fear pushing the envelope. Uh, you know, he didn't fear it. <laughs> Uh, he but feared ghosts. He did love dangerously <laughs> low jeans that everybody was sporting for a while and that we hear are, uh-oh, no, coming back again. No, it cannot fall. happen. I do not, no, no to low-rise denim. If anybody out there in the fashion world is watching or playing right now, I don't want it to come back. I love it. Remember that scene in Degrassi where no. Cassandra Steele had that little blue underwear thing and all the boys were turning around like, whoa, no. what's going on over in there? In the chat, you better write a high-rise denim. High-rise, you know, it hides everything for women. High-rise has changed people's lives. Say no to mom jeans. <laughs> 9,360 of you are moving on to question eight. Question eight. Ooh, should we? Ooh. Hello. I want to be like Nate. The great eight. <laughs> Mmm, uh. I feel like Nate. I'm gonna give you this question, ready? The hybrid fruit pineberry does not contain what? Strawberry, pineapple, or neither? Mm. That, Anna, or neither? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? Mmm, do you know this one? You probably don't, I bet you don't. Everybody thinks we're drunk no! in the chat. No! <laughs> All right, pineberries contain strawberries and more strawberries. In your face! Gotcha! That was a good question. The red and white variety to be exact, but no pineapples are to be found. No pineapples in pineberries. Can you believe that? That was pretty, Woo! pretty freaking Honestly, savage. that was huge savage. That was almost like doing. I don't even want to sing it. I just want to, should we put, I'm going to put my hood on. That yeah. was, wow, pine, yeah. pineberry up. really gotcha. You know what, we're in mourning now. I'm so sorry. sorry. You could still you can still buy back into the game. Use an extra life pineberry. That's berry. what they're for. That is what they're for. And for like, when you get a savagey. You know what? Eat chips. We don't need fruit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> get out of here, pineapples. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, here we go. That was rough. This one's not about fashion. <laughs> Question nine. Which of these bones do people typically have only one of? Patella, mandible, or trapezium? One of these. Only one bone. <laughs> Come on! Get your mind out of the gutter, Anna Royceman! It's 2 p.m. I'm. <laughs> That's not even a bone! What? Are you... I just. It's a gooey duck! <laughs> <laughs> we should go. have a gooey duck meme for the next nope, time we do this. I don't want to see that. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm warm. Learning the human skeleton will help you with a lot of trivia quizzes, right? But you don't have to know it all for this question. You really only need to know that the mandible is the human jawbone. Everyone I know has only got one of them. Uh, that's me moving my mandible. I think my, my fourth grade teacher, Ms. Zelnick, might have had two. She had a really long, jowly face. Two mandibles? Yeah. <laughs> they should write a book about her. The one woman in Queens with two mandibles. Blech. No, you only have one mandible. 5,949 of y'all got that right. We are breezing through this quiz. We got question 10 coming at you right now. Question 10, here we go. The first video of a swimming giant squid was found near a place known for what cuisine? Is it Vegemite, Mole Poblano, or Sushi? Did you like that accent there? Yeah, you Thank you. That. I think I, you know. Let's go to work. I used to speak Spanish. Oh, you which is it? Well, I, I studied it. I used to speak Spanish. And I was better when I studied it. And then I forgot all it. All right. This is a question that combines food and animals, two of our favorite things, in a very weird way. That big old squid was seen in Ogasawara in Japan. Sushi is the answer. This For whole shout. game is making me hungry. 3,912 of you. Got that right. Woo woo! Woo! We're gonna go out for sushi soon. Let's do it! Once you win that money, right? Where you can we get go? a lot of sushi with a thousand dollars. Woo! You could get a boat. The whole boat. The sushi boat. The whole boat. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, time for more fashion! Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's not. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven, babies. Which of these tennis legends made the most U.S. Open singles finals played in Forest Hills? Ooh, I know this one. Chris Everett, Margaret Court, or Billie Jean King? These are three legends. You watch tennis? All of them. Not really. Oh, it's so fun. I love Venus and Serena. They're the best. They're pretty dope. Yeah. Remember when uh, Leila Ali called them Vini and Serini? <laughs> no. <laughs> she was doing a speech. She was like, well, you know the girls that play tennis. Vini, Serini. Capolini, <laughs> Calzone. <laughs> Trouser pants. 
Trouser leg. Tell the duck. answer. Tell the answer. All right, here we go. They want to know. We're talking old school tennis, babies. Billie Jean King appeared in four U.S. Open singles finals between 1968 and 1977. Margaret Court and Chris Everett each made the finals three times mm. in that span. Did y'all know that? I knew that. I knew that. Savage. Oh, a lot of people didn't know that. It was Billie Jean King. Billie Jean King. Billie Jean is playing tennis. She's just a girl who... Went to the finals four times. <laughs> Went to Forest Hills, U.S. Open. I was like, 2,500, didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of finals, it is time. Oh my gosh, we did it, we made it, we had fun, we broke into trivia, and you know what? Yeah. I'm having a blast. I'm usually on the We're gonna keep doing this. Hopefully they don't fire us for, for starting games for starting in the middle of the day. The, yeah, but it, at least it's the middle of the day. It's a respectable time right now. We right? barricaded ourselves in the studio. Yeah, we've been here since 9 p.m. last night. I used two wet floor signs to jam it under the door. <laughs> they've, they've been knocking <laughs> this whole time. Oh, wow. All right. You got it? I got it. You got it. This is you. We can both do it. Yeah. Let's do it together. Here we Ready? go. One, wait. two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're so waiting. One, One two, two, three. three. Which, Which classic recipe, recipe is not, not included in Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking? Is it lobster, lobster thermidor, thermidor, chicken cordon bleu, coco van? <laughs> you skipped one. I let you say that one because I didn't know how to say it. <laughs> you skipped the one that you it didn't It looks want. like cock of vin. <laughs> and I was like, I have never eaten it. No, at least it's not frock. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's cock. <laughs> That's a rooster, y'all. It is. Should we give him the final answer? All right. Though its name sounds French. Mm -mm. Chicken cordon <laughs> bleu is actually a Swiss dish. It is not a French, di French dish. It is a Swiss dish. Miss Swiss. Say that three times in a row. Swiss, Swiss dish, dish miss. Swiss, Swiss dish, dish miss. Miss. Miss de Swiss. I love Swiss miss. It is not in any fancy French cookbook. <laughs> Julia Kyle did not. <laughs> And it looks like, check it out. 1,953 of you just won HP Channel! You did it! And this is a pride game! Hey! That's right! You did it! Where we're are going you surprised? Out. We're going out for so much food. We're getting cow dough. We're getting sushi. We're getting... Drunk, drunk, drunk. Jonas Brothers trivia, please. Salmon rolls sound good. <laughs> You've been knocking something. What are what? you on? Can I have some? Honey, we're on HQ Trivia. Hello, let's read Ooh, the winners. 1,953 winners. We've got Fever Fever. Fever Fever. Fever Fever. <laughs> like Flavor Flav's cousin. Fever Fever. <laughs> Cake Pod. Word up, Cake Pod. Mitch Mouth. Purple Lead. Purple Yeti. More Piss. Tuck cow. <laughs> what? Murps. 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 You said mar piss. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Night shine. Top cat 265. Everybody won. Woo! 51 cents and, and 513, 513 points. points. Baby. Congratulations. Y'all did that. You did it. This was so fun. We gotta do this all the time. I love this and I love being in a hoodie, right? People Me love too. our outfits. Hey, follow this guy. Matt Richards. Funniest that's my name. dude on the internet, right? Sometimes. And if you see him in person. He might hand you five dollars. That's true. <laughs> that is true. And follow me. There Anna I am. Royceman. Make sure you guys come back tonight. It's me and uh, Dr. Mike. We're gonna be here talk Ooh, about the yeah. amazing human body. All right. Uh, what else? We got uh, sports is tonight at eight p.m. with our girl Lauren Gambino. Pew, 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 pew. The great Gambino. Yes. Oh. I will be wearing a suit. Oh, you will. You're going to change. Also, don't forget to play HQ Words Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 p.m. Come on. Got to promote my own game. Yeah. You love it. We play love that. it. This was so much fun. Also, big shout out to Eugene, our man. Eugene. Peace and love. We miss you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>